ain't Mr. Right, but I'm Mr. Right now. We're back in action guys. I'm so glad I found my um, charger for my computer. I mean for my camera. I literally cleaned my room last night and it was like under like 10 pounds of clothes. So yeah, um, last night I didn't even get to finish vlogging and I actually hate the quality of my vlogs on my phone. I'm so grateful for my camera because I uploaded um, a clip of a vlog for a vlog that went up yesterday and it looks so Ugh, like this looks crisp in comparison to what I've been doing but um yeah last night I ended up I'm a psychopath you guys I ended up freaking doing like laundry I have like four loads left I had like eight loads of clothes I washed 20 wigs and I cleaned up my room so needless to say I woke up feeling refreshed feeling brand new so what I'm about to do now is run to the beauty supply store and get some lashes because I do have work all weekend and I think I have enough but I just like to be secure I need to get some hair dye because I'm dyeing this um blonde wig um this week sometime so I just don't want to have to run to the store again and then I'm gonna try to get a mani pedi and I need to get gas so yeah we're gonna have a busy day guys we're gonna have a very busy day a very busy day is it really even a vlog if I don't go to the nail shop? I don't think so. Um, yeah, so I went to the beauty supply store and picked up all my lashes and stuff. And I had to come back home to meet my friend at my house who's coming out with me later. And then, who's calling me? Oh my gosh. Oh crap. I don't know who that is. Okay, um, and while I was waiting on her, I just put my wig on so that when I come back, life can be so much easier. You guys, when I tell you the kit, I never appreciated the quality of this camera until I had to use my phone. Like, this camera is that girl. So, yeah, I'm about to go to the nail shop, but I'm really scared because like I've broken all my nails and some of them are like to the point where they kind of hurt. So, I don't know. And don't mind my hair though. It's just applied, but baby, we're gonna lay and slay later. Cause I have to record a video today too. Um, you know I like to keep on my shins because I'm not even gonna say what I wanna say <laughs> about somebody I just saw. But um yeah, I like to stay on my shit when it comes to recording as much as I can. I'm not being lazy anymore. I'm trying not to. I've record I've I've uploaded every day this week or I have content to upload every day this week, so Shout out to Mwa. Okay? And y'all need to be watching all of it and liking and commenting all of it. Even the hair videos. Even if you don't watch the hair videos, honestly, just let it play. Like, just let it play. Y'all want me to be monetized as much as I want to be monetized? So let me tell you. Oh, I should have went the other way. Let me tell you what you need to do. You need to let the video play, comment, like it. Let me get my views because the more views I get, the more money I get. Okay? because I can't get monetized. I need to get my coins on YouTube somehow. Which way should I go? I know you guys are gonna be like, Tasha, get a car mount again. I know. I know. This car, y'all, I'm so over this car. When I tell you, I cannot wait to get a new car. I'm just, I have a timeline. I have a plan of everything on my life supposed to go for the remainder of the year. So I'm just leaving it up to God. And honestly, this car is getting on my freaking nerves. I hate how small it is. It's a little coupe to coupe. Like this, even this is starting to peel. Like my tent is starting to peel. It's really a mess. Car be rattling, but I don't have a car note. So, won't he do it, okay? I don't have a car note. I haven't had a car note in a while. So that's why I'm just, I'm literally driving this car until the wheels fall off. Like literally I'm not joking like I don't have a car no I don't have to drive far you guys know I live super close to my house so I mean live super close to my house live super close to my job so it's just kind of like I don't really drive much honestly if I need to go anywhere I can rent a car I can freaking um drive my mom's car it's just not that deep I was talking to my mom about it and she was like you know I know you can afford a car and get a car and all that but she was like it literally doesn't make any sense she's like you're literally gonna be wasting money because you don't go anywhere you you don't drive like the average person and I was like and eh, kind of makes sense but I still want a new car so I'm definitely still gonna get a new car but just whenever the time is right the time is right like if literally my car 
God, I ain't got time for this tomorrow, but if my car was to go out tomorrow or give up on me, God is good, I can get a car tomorrow. So that's not the issue. It's just I'm trying to be smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be smart. Ooh, I look kind of cute. Mm. <laughs> I really wanted to laminate my brows yesterday i've been at this life for so long i really want to laminate my brows yesterday but like you can't put water on your brows for like two days or like wet them but i'm actually really excited to go out tonight like i just want to get cute i have no idea what i'm wearing yet though because this weather is looking a little muggy but the weather only says that it's fog it doesn't say that it's like gonna rain so i don't know but I like what this what this um weather is doing to me because I look cute. But yeah, I have on this wig. Let me tell y'all. I was gonna put on a new wig because like technically speaking, I should be doing like a hair video because um because I have so many wigs and it makes sense to do it with the get ready with me. But I just want to wear what the hell I want to wear. I don't feel like forcing a new wig, trying to work with a new wig. I know my RPG show wig be working. It looks a little um thick right here right now but i promise you i'm gonna get it together um but yeah i just wanted to wear what i knew it was gonna look good so i should have definitely went the other way i took the long way because i'm an idiot and then after i leave the nail shop i have to go to chick-fil-a because my sister is like can you please get me chick-fil-a i'm dying i'm like girl relax you have chick-fil-a five times a week relax um <clears throat> I think I was, oh, I was supposed to turn. I'm a freaking idiot. I don't know what's wrong with me. This is why you don't vlog and drive, honey. This is why you don't vlog and drive, okay? And I'm at the nail shop. Did I tell you guys I switched nail shops? I think I did in a vlog that has not been posted yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, I switched nail shops because I feel like the other girl that I went to, she just is so goddamn lazy. Like my nails be peeling the next day and stuff and I don't like that. And my nails have been breaking, but that's not their fault. It's literally because my nails are just growing too much. Let me try to, oh, I'm giving tousled. I'm giving the girls realness. You know what? In my last vlog, somebody was like, not your mask upside down, child. I be, I thought so. Sometimes I wear it this way and then sometimes I wear it under. Honestly, at least I have the mask on because at this point, well, I'm always gonna wear my mask, but I'm freaking tired of it, okay? And I don't even like these kind of masks, but I've been wearing them more because... Which one? Like the N95 mask, I really, really can't breathe. Like, it's just crazy. So, I'm about to walk into the nail shop. I hope they don't say anything. About me vlogging. You know, some places are really weird about, like vlogging and stuff Hello. hey how are you I needed a gel um, manicure and just a regular pedicure okay mm -hmm. you want the regular polish and your pedicure yeah just regular polish cool. okay thank you Yeah. We have the matching color if you look like this. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. So I don't know if I um ooh. So I low key want to get black because it's very fallish, but this lighting. So I'm gonna try black today and we're gonna see how this goes. Alright guys, so I'm leaving the nail shop and mm, I got the black. Mm, mm, mm. It's not my favorite. And I got it on my toes too. And I actually really like it on my toes, but on my nails, I just don't like it. And it could be because I had to cut all my nail. Why is it just so dark today? Um, it could be because I had to, what the fuck? 
you know i'm gonna take this back way because nobody's waiting all this time um it could be because like all my nails broke like at the weirdest angle like diagonally and stuff so i just have to cut them all down and start from scratch but y'all know my nails be growing hella fast but this time they were just so weak for some weird reason like my nails never do this so i don't know maybe if they were longer i would be effing with them but they're definitely like fall i i'm i'm liking them now that i'm out the nail shop but when i was in there i was like but I couldn't even be mad because that's what I asked for. You know what I'm saying? But I think after this, I'll stick to my nudes, my pastels. Like, I literally hate dark colors on my nails and on my toes. I don't know what it is. I could wear black all day. I could wear dark colors all day. But when it comes to my nails and my toes, it just gives me very dirty vibes. Like, I look like I am i haven't showered in days. <laughs> that's what it's giving, to be freaking honest. Um, and that's not the case. I shower daily actually sometimes twice a day and it's actually really bad for your skin but hey a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do okay so i'm about to get chick-fil-a for my sister i don't think i'm gonna get any oh i can't wait we're going to devon tonight i cannot wait i freaking love their salmon pasta it's so good it's so freaking good so freaking good actually i was supposed to go to devon with Aaliyah this week and i don't know sis we can still go back because you know we can eat pasta all day every day sis but um uh, yeah i'm really excited because i just they have hookah they have drinks they have food they have weird music but we can get past that we really can um but yeah i'm gonna go to chick-fil-a but and it's crazy because like i know people used to come oh sorry i know it's so crazy because i know people who used to come to chick-fil-a literally every day and i know they probably saw me I was like damn when this girl gonna get a new job and then like i have um old co-workers that still work there and i'm like wow not when are you gonna get a new job because honestly the way chick-fil-a is you better off staying there than getting a, a job a regular job like to be honest like they pay good they work with your schedule like you can move up with the company like if you're really really into that i personally was not into that but i know a lot of people who have like started like regular and they're like working corporate now not even that you don't like the job it's like it's, it's fast food at the end of the day and and chick-fil-a is such a is at such a high standard like this man's literally directing traffic right now like i know how to get to the drive through but um chick-fil-a is at such a high standard that it's stressful sometimes but let y'all let me get these people's food and i will see you guys later i'm about to go back home and figure out what i'm doing with my hair i really wanted to do a half up half down but this isn't giving enough scalp for me to do that um but we'll see and then i'm gonna start recording and my mom's gonna take my car for me because she loves me and she's gonna get my oil change i need some coolant i need a car wash i need all of that all of it so wasn't going to get chick-fil-a but i realized dinner's not till seven which means i won't eat till about eight and i get very hangry so i just got a kid's meal to hold me over i'm so tired i didn't go to bed till like four or five because again i got up started cleaning and whatnot so yeah I'm gonna um, finish eating this take a shower yeah guys I have to film this get ready with me and my wig is already on thank god um, my outfits picked out I just really have to do my makeup and I have to get out of here because I have to pick up something before I go to my friends dinner I had got these like custom cookies for her with her logo on it so i need to pick those up because they close by six and i need to pick up my friend so i'm about to set up my camera real quick um yeah oh my gosh and you guys i know my camera's a little lean but this combo go ahead and screenshot this right now best lotion combo the laura mercier and the sarah v healing ointment this gives you like that that nice glow especially like when i take pictures you guys be like can we get a leg routine and honestly my legs are so ugly but it just gives you that nice like model less glow and it hydrates you i have really really dry skin and this is good by itself but i need a little bit more moisture and it smells so good so two of these together heaven so make sure you guys get your hands on that i'm about to do my quick little skincare i've been using these fresh products 
and I feel like they're keeping my skin pretty balanced. I needed a toner because you guys know I was using the um, prim and proper stuff, which I love, but um, it, I, it didn't have a toner and I needed a toner and an essence and a serum because my skin got out of control again. So we're going to just have to bring it back. Okay, Hello? I don't know if you can. Oh, that's cute. Is that like a sheer? Is that like a sheer top? Huh? Is that like a sheer top? Girl, yeah, I had this a long time ago. That's cute. Was, but these pants I never worn. They're like, you see, like they'll come. I love, I love wide, wide leg pants. So. Yeah. So does this look? That's cute. I mean. No, I like it. Okay, and then you know, do my face. But okay, I'll let you record. Okay. I'll be ready by five. I'm gonna record. I'm giving myself like an hour and a half. And then when you see me again, hopefully I will be up at beach. So yeah, and don't forget to check out my um get ready with me. The way I'm set up, the get ready with me will probably be up before this. I always give you guys little disclaimers, but yeah, I'm about to get into this because I'm gonna just do a little simple look. Ooh, I look so cute on the camera. Look at look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Okay, so I gotta go. Bye. All right guys, so I am completely ready. Um, this is not what I planned on wearing. I planned on wearing, let me show you guys, this pink skirt from um, Pretty Little Things with this plunge white shirt. I'm doing horrible at this because I'm running late, but I want to vlog and want to show you guys. Um, with this plunge white shirt, but I didn't have booby tape, so that was a fail. Then I tried to put it on with this white shirt. I've showed you guys this before. I did an actual, I actually did a get ready with me showing the outfit, but I just don't want to go out in that um, with this top, but it just was not hitting the way I needed it to. So um, I'm just wearing this black shirt with these like, so yeah, I still look, you know, decent. Um, let me show you guys in the mirror. So I decided to wear, I don't know if you guys can see, but I decided to wear this like, black blouse with these leather pants um my bathroom looks a mess right now and then i'm just gonna wear these shoes but i'm wearing my crocs right now and then i have my black bag on so that's what i'm wearing to dinner tonight that's what it's gonna be i need to go and pick up my friend and i need to get these cookies oh my gosh so i'm out of here i will see you guys after i get these cookies house and i'm waiting for her to come outside then i need to go pick up these cookies and then we'll be cool it's the cookies that i need to get because i promised her i will bring the cookies for the party and they close at six and it is now it says i'll get there at 5 40 so hopefully it's not too much traffic y'all know how atlanta do so so i got my my mom took my car to get washed and like now my door won't close properly like she said they like didn't clean it properly. It's just all types of just weird shit going on. And just, today is just the day of my car revealing itself and I don't like that. So cute. So cute. Hi. Huh? There you are. Hey girl. Hi. How are you? you? Yeah. I'm a little whimsy cookie. I want to take a little. So cute. There you go. A boomerang up there. <laughs> okay, so you want a strawberry gooey and a Georgia, and then you just want the swirl. The swirl and then the um, red velvet gooey, but with the icing on it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you. It's so freaking cute in here. Is it two boxes of cookies? Okay guys, so we just picked up these cookies for Christine's little shindig. And we got our own cookies too because we're very greedy. This place is oh, so huh. cute. It oh, sorry. Is. This is the um box with our cookies in them. I'm gonna eat them now because we have now we made it so now I could chill I was really stressed okay but I don't think she would have left she looked like she was gonna wait for me mm -hmm. 
I told Christy, I said, I'm going to be on time. Oh, we are on time. Very like, much so. This is the first time I've been in time in my life because I be late. Okay. Ooh. What's that? Strawberry. What does it taste like? Remember that strawberry cake I had from my... Oh, you didn't eat it. I did have some. It, it tastes like that. Like you loved it. Mm -hmm. It was all right. You know I'm not really a cake. I didn't even eat any of my own birthday cake. You know I'm obsessed with strawberry. It's my favorite. Really good. Mm. I should have got the buttercream one. Like you got like this. Put yeah. Buttercream on it it would have been good. I ain't eat no cookie like that. I need something on it. It's moist. It looks moist. It's very moist. We made it to Devon. Say hi, best friend. Y'all have not met Kishara yet, but this is my road vlog. I'm gonna tell y'all how she didn't like me before, but it's okay though. We're here now. You know the story. It's getting real ugly. It brings character to the friendship, okay? But we're waiting. What time is it? It's 6:40, so I know nobody's gonna get here till like 7:30. But we were literally up the street. So, so do you like your drink, friend? Okay. Christine is here. I'm vlogging. Hi. Say hi. Opening blinds because clearly I work here. <laughs> it's supposed to be an ambiance. Oh, but let me tell y'all about the drink. So I asked Kisha if she liked her drink because the lady was like, "Oh, let me make you something," and it was like, "That'll be thirty-five dollars." Thirty-five dollars for what? It's not even Don Julio. It's nothing. It's like some unknown. It is. It's like an unknown name. But this is the room. We got us a little. I didn't think you got a private room, but I didn't either. But I mean, I figured they was gonna do that with so many of us. You know, I still everybody's late. Okay. I don't get copyrighted for that, but let me tell y'all something about 21 Savage's album, honey. I'm a 21 Savage stan, okay? He is a fellow Libra. I love him. I stan. I loved his last album, and people try to act like the last album didn't exist. I don't like that. But anyways, I'm in traffic. I'm on my way home. I just took Kishara home, and I just want to go home. I have work at 8 o'clock in the morning or 7 one of the two early okay um and i need to get home shower and just get my life just woosah woosah okay so yeah i had a nice little dinner i love devon i don't know if you if i said where i was at but i went to devon it's in atlanta it's like mediterranean food but it's just so flavorful honestly y'all mediterranean food be making me sick sometimes like it just it it does but devon we're cool we're here okay we're here i love it so much um i got salmon pasta like blackened salmon pasta and then i just got um this like shrimp with like rice and it looks like lemon butter garlic it smells so good but i got that for my mom but i'm definitely gonna um try some yeah it's smelling really good in the car right now um but yeah and i don't i think i showed you guys the cookies already but yeah, that's pretty much it for the week. I think I work the rest of the... No, not I think. I know I work the rest of the weekend. So I don't have anything else to vlog. I think this was a decent vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. I can't promise that my weekly vlogs are going to be um long. Because like... Your girl don't be doing much. They, okay, I don't know what's been going on. But ever since the roads have opened back up they're like working on every single road like literally i'm about 20 or 30 minutes away from my house and like there's cones everywhere there's like one lane open if i go on the highway to my house same thing like y'all come on now just traffic at 10 30 i was about to look at the time but i just looked at it it's 10 30 is just unacceptable to me i just feel like yeah and you guys so i don't know if i told you guys earlier but i got my car washed and y'all they did something to my car like i know my car was already acting a little ratchet but like my door doesn't close all the way now like i have to like literally slam my door or it won't close there was like a a piece missing from my windshield there was freaking um uh, my seat belt was jammed like what the hell was y'all doing when you was cleaning my car like 
I know my car was a little, mm, mm -hmm. Keisha be acting a little ghetto sometimes. But like now it's really ghetto and now it just proves my point earlier that I just need to, you know, move on from it and call it a day. But yeah. Everybody's trying to squeeze into this one lane. I'm about to have a panic attack. All these lights are flashing in front of me and I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. But I'm gonna finish blasting this 21 Savage, 21, 21, 21. And yeah. Hey guys, I am at work. Um, I brought my vlog camera to work today so I'm probably gonna get you guys some um, content in, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just finished my last client and my next one doesn't get here for like 10 minutes. I think I have an 11 o'clock. Pretty sure I do. Yep, I have an 11 o'clock. I'm booked up all day. I got here at 9 and I'm here till 9. So I work all day, all the way through. No breaks unless somebody's a no call, no show. So yeah, I'm just cleaning up real quick. Um, I don't like to... Um, what you call it? Oh, I cleaned all my brushes. I don't like to work with a dirty station, dirty brushes, none of that. So, um, yeah. And I probably wore this outfit already in a vlog. It's the um, misguided jumpsuit. I literally wear it every day to work. This or the gray one, but I do laundry really often. So, you know, it'd be clean though, but I wear it. It has a little hole in the thigh now, girl. But it's really comfortable. And then I have on my Uggs. Okay, we're real cozy at work because I'm here all freaking day you guys like it's not even funny so i'm just cleaning up and i know my next client so she's definitely gonna be here you know wipe this off first i like to wipe this off with alcohol first before i wash it because it's kind of hard Ooh, it's kind of hard to like wash the makeup off so yeah Throw that in the trash. And I need some more brush cleaning. That's all I got today. What the heck? I'm dropping everything. But I have plenty of alcohol, so that should not be an issue. I'm at my sink, so I'm just going to post you guys up right here. And I'm about to wash this. Use my micro band. I don't know why I didn't um, comb my hair when I was cleaning my brushes, but this is literally what I do in between each client. I wash my, I clean my brushes and I clean my station and everything before the next one gets here. Or if I'm, if I'm running a little bit behind, um, or whatever the case is, they just got to wait about five minutes for me to get myself together because I don't think that a client should come in and it not be ready for them, you know? So, that's what I'm doing now, nice and clean. I have multiple of these, but I literally just wipe this off. There's no point in having 20 dirty things of this when the whole point of this is to clean it. Reusable. All I need to do now is wipe my station down with some wipes. You know, we got the Target brand because that's all they got. Okay, sis. Wipe the chair and the station down. wash my hands and we're done I just gotta wait for the next client all right so while we're here waiting on my next client I need somebody's help um is it oh is my mask dirty you know I'd be like doing this all day and be having makeup on my hands so oh uh, let me show you guys my station real quick so this is my station you guys have seen it but I have all my clean brushes here 
and then have some Purell, I have gloves, and then I have this little basket um, to put the dirty brushes in. So this is where my sponges go when they go in the washer. But um, this is really where like the foundation brushes and the sponges go for the day. I just touched that, wow. <laughs> and eyes. Um, yeah, but throughout the day, honestly, all of these are gonna end up in there. So when I first get to work, I'm like being all cautious and like spot cleaning. But after a while, I just get really tired of doing that so yeah but anyways i need help with my suite because you guys ever since my last vlog when i showed you guys i was like getting rid of makeup and putting stuff in in that can you guys see that yeah in that <laughs> um i haven't done anything so it's basically empty in here and i hate it it's so ghetto this is a corner of random stuff i still haven't gone through since that day these are bags um, with makeup still, like two bags, and then a box of like um, foundations and stuff. And I just don't know what to do with the space. Like it's just like throwing me off. I'm supposed to decorate, but I've been so busy. But like I said, I have not had time to like really sit down and decorate the way I want to. So if you have any suggestions on like my decor, my theme, I need a new chair. I have bought this chair that you see over here because I thought it was higher, but it doesn't go any higher than this and I can't work hunched over. Like I work 12 hour days, this is not happening ever in life. Um, every chair that I find is like velvet or cloth and I need a chair that I can wipe off and wipe down. <sighs> and I found this one chair and it's like, you know like an actual makeup artist chair, like a director's chair and it's like leather and it has like gold hardware. Like, so it looks like a director's chair, but it's like a chair chair. But it's like $500. I'm like, do I want to spend that? And like, for me, when I want something, that's just it. My mind's stuck on it. So I'm like, I don't know. But they have one with silver. I have silver on my um, little dresser thingy. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and get the silver one. I don't know. But if you guys have any, you know, links anywhere I could shop besides Wayfair, do not say Wayfair um, or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, please help a sister out, okay? Because I'm struggling. So i'm about to wait on my client she should be here in like two minutes like literally so i'm gonna turn my music back on because i can't jam with y'all and i will see you guys i'll probably um do britney's makeup on here because um i know her and she's okay with me vlogging and she was just hitting my she was in the vlog earlier she had done her one-on-one -on -one, but today's her birthday so she's getting her makeup done for her birthday so yeah so i'll see you guys later all right, so I did have a no call, no show. They're supposed to get her at 12 and it is now 12.30. So their appointment is actually canceled. Technically at um, 12.15, their appointment's canceled because you didn't reach out to me. You didn't say I'm gonna be late. You didn't say I'm not coming. You didn't say nothing. So I'm actually gonna get myself some lunch because I'm not gonna have the time later. I think I'm just gonna get Chipotle. No, I think. I know I'm just gonna get Chipotle and um, yeah, just I don't have to be. It was um, a, somebody booked to bring a friend, so it's supposed to be two people. So now I don't have to be back at work till two o'clock. So I do have a pretty nice break, and I haven't even charged their card yet because I already know the last few people that I've charged their card for no call, no shows, it said insufficient funds. So I don't know if people are just putting like cards they know don't have any money on there, or if they really just don't have it. But my policy states, no calls, no shows, will be charged a full amount. And they get blocked from booking with me ever again in life because you're wasting my time. You took up a spot that people ask for. I've had people emailing me all day, um, DMing me, asking me if I have any slots. But I can't tell somebody like, oh, I have a slot open now when the average person is not probably ready to get their makeup done. Does that make any sense? Like, if I tell somebody right now to come, they're going to be late. It's going to throw my whole day off. So I don't even tell people when the appointment cancels at that time. If somebody cancels like my 5 o'clock or something, then I'll I'll make a post or I'll reach out to somebody who asks me because they have time. But it's just not realistic. So I'm about to do that. And I'm actually about to go home and finish the description box for today's video that's going up. I have a um, one brand tutorial coming up for Stilla. And I'm really excited because I actually really like the products. And I was shook because Stilla... I keep saying it wrong. Stila, Stila. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm not waiting in this little traffic. Y'all can kiss my butt. Um, 
I hope y'all have not heard this song this whole time because if they copyright me because of this song, I'm gonna be mad. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I really like the products and I was surprised because like that, that brand just screams old lady to me or like, like always, I've never, nothing but the liner. The only thing I really ever tried was a liner. I know a lot of people like um, this like red lipstick that they have, but I just am not a red lipstick gal. So I'm just like, eh. But yeah, so I'm about to go into a job on and then just run home and finish typing up this description box which i should have done last night but i just couldn't take it no more i literally um edited the video see i don't know why everybody's waiting over there this is like traffic right there that's so weird but um i edited two videos last night because my goal for the for this week was to upload on youtube every day and i have uploaded a video every single day this week so i'm so happy um which I'm gonna upload today and then I edited my video for tomorrow. So we're good there. I can't make the same promise for next week, but actually next week's content is looking pretty good too. I'm probably gonna um, upload every day next week. So I'm excited about that. So I'm back home for now. And I've actually never tried this drink from Chipotle. This is the little sparkling grapefruit. I literally only drink water with Chipotle. I only really like water, but I just wanted something today. Something wanted, my body wanted something carbonated or sparkling, so. This is my bowl, very childish. I don't get any meat on my bowls. It's literally rice, black beans, salsa, lots of sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. It's real good. Sometimes I'll put salad dressing or lemons. Do I have lemons? When I came home, I had a package at the door. Tennessee. What the hell that is? It's a little burning. I'm gonna definitely get some water. So I ordered Jackie's candles. Let me tell you what happened. So Let me chew because last time y'all was like, you eating and talking is so disgusting. Grow up. Anyways, so I ordered the Forever Mood candles and my friend had got me the, she was like, I can get you two candles for your birthday. Which two do you want? So I told her cuffing season and let me see. So I told her cuffing season and left on red, okay? And so then I was just like, well, let me get the other two because I heard they smell amazing, so let me get them. And y'all know, like, I was just ordering them quickly because, like, literally she asked, she told me the day they launched. She was like, that's going to be your birthday gift. It's going to be here after your birthday, but it's going to be your birthday gift. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm going to get two of the other two so I can have all four of them, you know. So I got um, caked up and matcha matcha business oh like not your business oh my gosh that's so cute okay um first of all i thought they came in like the pretty box but they just came in this brown box which is fine but as far as like everybody else posting i've seen the other box but when i texted my friend and told her my package got here which is weird because we ordered the same day and mine's got here and hers is it i don't know um she was like no it, there's like a part that's that is there that's hold on let me get together she said that you have to basically buy the pretty packaging and it takes longer to ship. I'm like, I didn't even see that option. I just bought the candles and was checking out because I've never heard of you buying special packaging unless you're buying like a gift box or a gift bag. And then, you know, all the reviews, everybody's like, oh my God, you can smell the candles through the box, blah, blah. I feel like the other two are the good ones. Those are the ones that everybody talks about. These just, mind you, I'm just really getting into candles within this year, you know, since I've been home. A lot, it just helps me like, Usa. But, um, it smells like a very sweet, this is caked up. It smells like a very sweet, like Starbucks drink. Not a coffee drink, like a very sweet something Starbucks drink. I can't put my finger on it. But yeah, not really my scent. It smells like one of those like fallish, ones from um bath and body works that i don't get i like um more like musky scents i like more um florally if anything like that's like my kind of 
for candles. And then matcha business literally smells like another Starbucks drink, like a matcha drink. So again, ooh, that was really strong. Um, they are very strong, not my favorites, but I can't wait to get the other two, but so far, that's just my honest opinion on them. They're not my sense. Of course, you could read the notes of the candles online and it's up to your discretion, but I wanted to get all of them just to smell them because everybody was literally raving about them. So the actual candle though, like this is quality smell. It looks super cute. Like I love how this looks, um, but I was a little disappointed in the box. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that so soon. Y'all, this is so crazy. So the other day, I, wow. Is there anything else in this box? Okay, so I was wondering because I ordered um some um tea from Keisha K.O.R. because I need to detox and everybody raves about the tea. I've had detox tea before, but People stand, so I'm trying to detox next week and see what it's all about. But um, it said, I got an email saying that it was delivered, so I'm like, why are they putting the tea in that big old box? I ordered this Marc Jacobs bag, it's so cute. They were having 40% off this week. Knowing them, they'll probably extend it. But when I tell you I literally ordered this two days ago. Like literally, ordered this two days ago. This is the bag. It's like a little lunch bag, lunch box bag, and I think these are so cute. It has a strap, like a long strap that's probably inside of it, but this is so nice. I freaking love, yep, the strap is in there. I just love how this bag looks. It's so, so, so cute. I was debating between this one and the light blue one, but this one, the mint was just looking more like, it just looked more luxe. It looked, it had more contrast. The light blue was just a light blue bag. Like it was just a bright, light blue but this is so cute i love it and i really 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 wanted to get the black because i don't know if you guys watch dana alexa i love her hey girl she has the um black one she was the first person i seen with this kind of bag this is perfect okay but she had the black one and she styles them with her outfits and it looks so cute but i was like dang i have so many black bags and i'm getting this um bucket bag and it's black too so I'm just like, I don't need another black bag, so yeah. It's more like a casual bag. I feel like some of my bags are like too dressy. This will be like my, I'm probably honestly about to order the black one right after I close out this, this, this little vlog because I, wow, it's the perfect size, it's so cute. Hmm, all right. But I'm gonna finish eating my Chipotle because I would like to eat without being judged. So I will like see you guys like later. <laughs> I'm in Michael's right now. I mean, not Michael's, Joanne's. And I'm trying to get something for a backdrop. I really want a black backdrop, but I'm not sure what material to use. There's too many options. That line looks kind of long. Um, I might get the linen one, but I'm not sure which one's gonna look the best. This might be too reflective though. This one. I kind of want it to be extra and flashy, like I'm in a music video. <laughs> not leather. I'm not even holding the camera up because I'm like really focused on this. You know what's really annoying? Having to turn the music off every time I start vlogging, but I got my fabric, so I'm probably gonna do my video. Let me check my schedule actually. Where's my phone? Oh. Sorry about this light, guys. So yeah, I'll probably do this on Tuesday. And then I got a um like a fabric gun, like a hot glue gun basically. Um, because I want to try something with a wig. I want to add bundles to the hair, but instead of sewing it in, I just want to glue it in and I think it's gonna last and be just as durable. It's just a test. You know, I'm the queen of hacks, okay? So I feel like this would be a good way to add bundles to your wig without sewing. Cause let me tell you, sewing literally gives me a headache like it's so hard like some people that's their thing good for you kudos to you but y'all i have tracks dangling and all types of stuff so i feel like i know how to glue because y'all know i know how to do a quick weave so gluing is easy but using regular hair glue is going to be like it's just not going to be as durable and as i wash the wig over time it's gonna um 
it's gonna probably like fall out so I'd rather use something that it's gonna be it's gonna last but we're gonna see we're gonna test it out because if this works it's gonna be my go-to wig it's gonna be full and long I might dye it this color actually but for now it's just gonna be black I'm not gonna be dying and gluing and making wigs and stuff so yeah Hello, it's the birthday girl. Hello, hair by free, even though she was late. I hope you see this free, you was late. Oh. Got me here late, calling you out. Oh. But hair is light though, y'all know freebie, freebie coming through with the come through, okay? Period, so we're about to do her makeup. Seems like ever since the first day we met, there is no one else I think of more than you. Can't seem to forget, can't get you on my head. Here's the verdict and I'm crazy over you. Okay, we are done. Get into it. Get into it. Hello. Why are you looking so dry? Can you can you get face? What you guys like? Yes, yeah, she's giving elegante, <laughs> bougie. Yes, ma'am. Yes, twenty seven. Where does that mean dry? Twenty seven looks great. All right, guys. So I am home now. And honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video because um, um, it's Saturday, so tomorrow's Sunday. So tomorrow I will keep vlogging. It's getting dark. Tomorrow I will keep vlogging. However, it'll be for a new week. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, I'm actually about to finish folding these clothes on my bed. Remember I started doing laundry. That's the rest of it. My dryer, there's like something wrong with my dryer. It just be tumbling the clothes, but it don't dry. It's so weird. So yeah, I'm gonna um, close out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys are liking this video, subscribing to my channel, commenting, all that good stuff, okay? And I will see you guys in my next one.